Astronaut Training 101. Where do you begin? What are the basics really of mental performance? I'm coming to you from one of the Australian Antarctic stations. It's all about it. breaking down movement, areas of, of mobility, stability, motor control and strength. Given your current situation, you can make the optimal decisions to reach your goal. This workshop is inspired by the multidisciplinary requirements placed on astronauts during selection and on missions. I'd like to talk a bit about the extreme and isolated environment it is, and hopefully there might be some parallels for space that will be helpful for you. I always look out for ways to create more space in my brain for the processing of the important decision at hand. The cradle of understanding your own mental but also physical performance is to understand circadian rhythm. One really good way to kind of continue that emotional connection and, and improve the synapses in your brain is, is by making music. Instructors will explain the fundamentals of mental health and demonstrate practical techniques for improving mental performance. Beginning with breathing and movement exercises, we will move into understanding the neuroscience of mental performance, decision making and habit formation. Write down a goal for yourself that you actually would like to reach and share it with me. Head on the hands like that and then literally just learning how to actually breathe. Every investment comes with its own risks. So you can train your ability to self-regulate and there is neurofeedback protocols with which you can measure the before and after. Down here, because we're all stuck together, even trivial things become a big issue. So we've had a big fight about how crispy bacon should be. So let's start with the kick on beat one. Here we go. Okay, so let's have a listen to it now. So that's a pretty good start. It didn't take me very long to do that.